Quavo and Takeoff are officially launching the Post Migos era with their new album, Only Built for Infinity Links. Offset is embracing his own path as a talented rapper, TV personality, and a father to five kids. Their success, combined with hella support from fans, begs the question, is everyone actually better off after this breakup? You have to get an understanding yeah. before you get a straight good straight. Straightening! Few rappers have flipped the game on its head like the Migos. Exploding out of Atlanta with hits like Versace, Fight Night, and Handsome and Wealthy, the trio introduced a fresh take on trap music in the mid 2010s and even agitated some veteran acts with their signature triplet flow. I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Migos, but all them sound the same. You can't forget about the dab either. Adding another layer to their history are their family ties. Quavo is cousins with Offset. He's also Takeoff's uncle. Together, they had the culture in their hands, inspiring the iconic culture trilogy that started in 2017 and finished last year. Right as of now, we the greatest group in the world right now. Before it's said and done, we want to stick that. We want that sh to stick. But their future suddenly looked uncertain after eagle-eyed fans noticed in May that Offset and his wife Cardi B unfollowed Quavo and Takeoff on IG. While it's unclear what sparked the initial rift, things began to snowball from there. Huncho and Takeoff announced the formation of their duo known as Unkin Few and released a booming single called Hotel Lobby. Migos then canceled their set at Governor's Bowl in NYC, with Huncho and Take opting to perform on their own at Lyrical Lemonade's Summer Smash. Set let his work speak for itself, delivering an impressive guest verse on Sleazy World Go Step 1 and dropping two songs, 54321 produced by Baby Keem and Code featuring Moneybag Yo. The feud turned for real for real when news broke that Offset had sued Migo's longtime label Quality Control for trying to claim ownership of his solo material. He attacked CEO Pierre Thomas on Twitter. I ain't spoke to you in two years, now I drop and you want your name on my credit? Following months of speculation, Quavo and Takeoff sat down with Big Facts and spoke about the situation. We want to see our career as a duo. You know, we just came from a loyal family, you know what I'm saying? that we're supposed to stick together. You know, sometimes when shit don't work out, it ain't meant to be. But, you know, we, we always family now. Ain't nothing gonna change. But we just stand on loyalty. You know what I mean? We stand on real deal, real deal loyalty. And this ain't got nothing to do with no label, no paperwork, no QC, no nothing. This got something to do with the three brothers. Right now, we gonna be the duo till time till. They're not shying away from the idea that Only Built for Infinity Links represents a new chapter. The title pays homage to Raekwon and Ghostface Killa's legendary 1995 album Only Built for Cuban Links, which marked their brief departure from the larger Wu-Tang Clan. While Infinity Links isn't doing numbers as major as Culture 3, the reaction from fans has been largely positive. Listeners are feeling the duo's chemistry on bangers like Nothing Changed and To The Bone with NBA Youngboy. People might forget that some of Migos' biggest moments happened without all three members. Takeoff is absent from their lone number one hit, Bad and Bougie, a point that led to a viral altercation involving academics and Joe Budden at the 2017 BET Awards. Plus, establishing themselves as solo artists was always part of the plan. Recall 2018's Quavo Hunt Show and Takeoff's The Last Rocket, and Offset's Father of Four the year after. We most definitely coming out with all our solo projects, Quavo told Complex in 2021. One thing's for sure, if the Migos ever decide to reunite, the hype will go crazy.